seems like you guys have a good time with Rico here uh, and hanging out with the guards. Just how much is the chemistry growing with your group and, and the guards and, and Rico and all this? this team? Yeah, Rico's a, a big impact on this team. It all started during the summer. Um, when I met him um, with Tyrese, we had a really good time, really good workouts. Um, he's been pushing us. Uh, he's kind of been speaking his mind, and um, he's been a real impact on the scene. He said a lot about, you know, like, uh, sorry, I just blanked out. <laughs> just blacked out. <laughs> Javion, people don't always get excited about these oh, shows, but um, this fan base is really just, you know, kind of pumped up watching you come into your own here. What? Do you feel that that love like from the community already, and, and what's that what's that been like? Yeah, I mean, I feel the love. Uh, Sacramento got a really good fan base, but um, I mean, it's been good. I just kind of try to go out there and be myself, um, and, and try to do whatever it takes to win. So you see me out there playing hard. I mean, like I said, just being myself. Is that kind of exciting to you too, to, to know that people are watching you that close and want to see you perform? Yeah, for sure. Like the other night, I seen on social media they posted Paul George missing the jump shot. I'm like, bro, he just missed the jump shot. I had nothing to do with it. But, <laughs> but it's, it's really exciting just to have the, the fan base and everyone uh, noticing my defensive defensive end. What, um, what just kind of stands out to you after kind of midway point here in these preseason games? Uh, we just what stands out is uh, us building trust with each other. Um, you see it um, time from game. We have mental mistakes, but we keep playing. Like Luke said before, like we have mental mistakes, but we keep playing. But we building off each other and playing off each other. Did you like having that kind of test? And you know, they talked about the Paul George Met thing when you pick him up a couple times. Hmm. Having a defender that's somewhat bigger. Than you, I know it's nothing new to you, but in the NBA, is it is it even that bigger, much more of a test for you? Yeah, for sure. Every night, I mean, it's always going to be someone that's uh, bigger, really good. Like the next night, I got Dame, CJ, a lot of really good guards in this league. So it's a really test for us and, and for me defensively. Are you a big film study guy when it comes to learning tendencies of guys like? Oh yeah, for sure. You got to. I mean, if you're not, you can't go out there with a blank head, not knowing what they're doing. They're they're too good. So you got to take away something. You got to watch. You got to watch film, see what they like to do. Try to take that away, um, just to slow them down just a little bit. Are you gonna take away like the 45 foot jumper from? The uh, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna. Y'all see me doing the pre I'm gonna do what I do best. Uh, pick up full court, half court. Try to take some things away from them. Do they ask you to pick up that, or do you just do it? Nah, I mean, I think that's just kind of that's kind of being. Being myself, like I said, even in college, I used to pick up like that. I mean, I think that's fun. It tires the dudes out, especially if you bring the ball up. You got to dribble against side to side, and um, it, it tires them out for the fourth quarter. Have you had a moment yet where you felt, oh man, this is tired? Is this dude tired? No, they, 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 you, even yourself, that you're like, man, I, I, this is. Oh, uh, I mean, not really. I mean, because I'm kind of used to doing it. So I, I'm, like I said before, I'm, I'm a little used to doing it, so I'm really not that tired. Okay. Hey, Any more questions? Yeah. In the NFL, you see sometimes with quarterbacks and, and teams that draft quarterbacks, there's you know a little friction there. But did you wonder about you know how you would be received on this team, given that you know they had Fox and Tyrese, and how is the actual how is reality compared to what maybe wasn't expected? Oh, not at all. I mean, because those guys are really good playmakers. Um, they're really good guards, so I knew that they were going to adjust no matter who whoever they drafted. So. Coming in, I knew they was going to take me under their wing. I'm learning a lot from Fox and Tyrese. I'm playing off of them. So we're going to keep getting reps in and keep getting better. Are you having a good time defending Fox during, during games? Is it making you better? 100%. Uh, one of the one of our better guards in our league. I'm guarding him. I know I'll be ready for guarding any any guard any night. Going back to Rico really quick and just talking about how you guys stack days. What does that mean to you and how important is that for team culture? Yeah, uh, we, we emphasize that, in, especially in camp, um, just stacking days. Um, go 100%, go 1-0 each day. Um, I mean, like he talked about it during the summertime where some days you might not be feeling it, but you still got to go hard each day. Yeah. Two more. What did that, uh, that comment by Fox thinking you were a top five on ball defender, what did that kind of mean to you after the game the other day? Oh, I didn't. What what did he say? I didn't even he see. He said it. he thought you were already a top five on ball defender in this league. Oh, wow. Appreciate that, Fox. But, uh, I mean, it means a lot. I mean, especially because I'm guarding him in practice, and I mean, he, he he's feeling it, but. Garden Fox, man, he's really good. He, he's really good. He can shoot the ball. He can pass the ball. Like he can run the team. I mean, he's he's making me a lot better. Um, especially going out into to a real game, I'm getting to guard those guards, and it's not it's not it's not the same because when I'm guarding Fox, it's, it's different. <laughs> it's you, a different you really hadn't heard that comment from him yet? No, I haven't heard that. <laughs> Are you six one or six two? I'm going with six two. <laughs> <laughs> me too.